What about that brain? What was that? I have no idea. Is it human? And, and where's Kevin Sullivan? Uh, he's just, he's, you know, he was on the dark side. Things go through his mind I don't even want to know about. Apparently, though, if you listen to what we just saw in that mysterious man calling to Kevin Sullivan, the Stars and Stripes make their way to the ring. The one underlying theme is to try to end Hulkamania here, apparently. That man can do it just looking at you. All right, Marcus Bagwell, the Patriot. In the next match we saw earlier, the pit bull. Now we're going to take a look at his opponent coming up. As you see, Sledgehammer McGill on your right, Tony Mill on your left, the opponents for Stars and Stripes. The opponent for uh, Pittman is going to be Marcus Bagwell at the Great American Bash this Sunday. What an event that's going to be, Brain. Dayton, Ohio, Hair Arena this Sunday. We're going to have a, a lot of fun, and I tell you, it's going to be a night of revenge for Savage, but also, as you know, Sting now and Ming to wrestle in the championship match of the U.S. tournament and a lot of other great matches that Mean Gene will be running down in the control center. And you know the underlining thing here that I don't know if you know about or anybody knows about, but you think of this. Savage is avenging his father. Flair hurt his father. It was the man who got in the ring and got hurt was the macho man's father. And this is taking place on Father's Day. Savage would like nothing more than to finish off Ric Flair on Father's Day for his father. There's Johnny, so much riding here. Johnny Mella in the corner, repeated kicks to the sternum area of the Patriot, and sending out Mella and hooking Mella, Billy the button. You know, Savage is hard enough to beat when you just want to pin the guy. That's right. Mella goes down repeatedly here, and no question, the former world tag team champ Stars and Stripes in tag team action looking very good, but Bagwell's got to realize that the pit bull is lurking in the shadows. You know, the underlining factor here, had Flair done that to Angelo Papo 15, 20 years ago, that wouldn't have mattered, I don't think, to Macho Man, but the fact that his father at this age now has to go through all that pain. Savage is not going to be a normal... First of all, the match should be held back maybe a year. It should be kept apart for a year. You just Let this thing cool down. You just want to protect Flair. No, and I whatever just... Flair gets, he deserves. Head first goes Bagwell to switch him from McGill. I don't know if he's going to deserve what Savage plans on giving him. Yeah, I think he does. Underneath Bagwell, drop kick. Make it two, and that one was right on target. Right on the button. I'm drag take down to the Macho Man. Randy Mr. Savage and Ric Flair not too far away. You hear the intensity from the fans here. They're ready for the Great American Bash as well, Brain. Boy, when they were standing in line, there were... Wow. There were thousands of people outside, and everyone was talking about Savage getting their hands on Ric Flair. Up on top is Bagwell now. The Patriot gets him up. Double cross body for the vertical suplex. It's over. Wow. As always, Stars and Stripes looking great. But you know Bagwell's mind and attention has to be elsewhere right now, especially on Sergeant Craig Pittman. Well, Mr. Bagwell, you better have all your buttons real shiny. You better have those shoes real shiny. You better be able to suck in that gut and stick out that chest and be ready to march because you're in there with the pit bull, Sergeant Craig Pittman. He likes Stars and Stripes. He likes them a lot. Bagwell's not a recruit, he's a wrestler. Well, he's going to feel like a recruit, and he's going to be one of those recruits that didn't make it. He's going to be writing home to Mommy and Daddy, saying, come get me, I've had my tail kicked. Still more to come, including comments from the Macho Man and from Ric Flair on WCW Worldwide on the Great American Bash Weekend. <laughs>